we're all just bragging. Oh, wait, more, more. We've got more. Anyone else want to join us? Is there only one buggy on the whole premises? Is it? I love to see the stuff here. This is how we do it in Saudi. We've got all of the cars literally driving in right now to be placed in this hall, and all around this area, we've got a Regera right now driving in. We've got some insane cars in there. Honestly, I'm really impressed. Like that, all of these cars, first Riyadh car show ever. And all of these cars have been flown in from around the world just for this show. It's called the Riyadh Seasons and it's like car shows and so many other different entertainment shows all going on over the next few months in Saudi. It's a day before everything opens and we've walked into this massive hall. So everything you see right now is actually going to go up for sale. Okay, you see what's happening here? where the engine is obviously kind of outside the body of the car. Something like this wouldn't usually be road legal in Saudi Arabia, but if you buy it at the show, you will be given a special permit for your car so that you can drive it around on public roads in Saudi. That's pretty cool. So only if you buy it at the Riyadh car show, you get the special permit. I'm seeing cars here that I've never seen at any other car show in the world. It's JC! Talacrest, you guys. It's a video, JC. Oh, it's video. <laughs> it's a video. You've got to talk, yeah? Yeah, I can talk. 20. 250 million dollars worth of cars 24 here cars. 24 cars that you've shipped in just yeah. for the Riyadh motor show yeah. that's crazy so it helped them out being yeah. the first one a police academy show as well I remember seeing this in the States so they brought in all the professionals from the US just rehearsing right now for tomorrow who knew it would be so cold in Saudi Arabia <laughs> so here with Terry the man of the hour you're about to attempt this loop behind us yeah well, I'm sure that yeah it's a little way off yet but it's getting closer and this is the actual, the tallest one that you're, you're attempting? Yeah, this is bigger. This is number half, half a metre bigger than the last one I've done. This is the car I'm going to use tonight. This I have two, the this is the one we're going to Okay, go alright, here we are, with the car. So you've not done anything to the engine? No, the engine, I've actually used the diesel engine. Oh, so okay. I'm going in a diesel engine as well. Is there a reason for that? Just because it was the lightest okay. of the models. Oh. All the windows are plastic. Oh, okay. All oh, of the right, internals yeah. of the door, so this is just very, very light. Well, congratulations in advance. Yeah, well, let's hope so. Yeah, yeah, and good I'll luck. Try. Please be safe. I'll try. I'll and we'll be watching. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so much, Thanks. Terry. Thanks. Hey everyone! Yeah. Who's your friend? Wait. What? 
change a sub. Is this how we're getting around today? Yeah. Is this how you're going to show me the This concept? is my concept camel. My concept so, camel. Yeah, a concept oh camel. Oh my God, <laughs> that is brilliant. So, so does it have like special lights or something or does it do anything like concepty? Uh, no. <laughs> I don't think so. No. <laughs> I don't think so. You guys watching right now, you might be like, we don't look like we're in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> I'm not wearing an abaya. You're not wearing a kandora. Tra yeah, traditional top. A no. traditional dress. Yeah. Because so many things are changing so quickly. Yeah. They've totally opened up to tourists now. Like yeah. for the first time. The first time. And it's yeah. all just changed so quickly. Like, I can't believe it. And I've been driving around Saudi Arabia for women that just opened up, I think, like a year ago. It's just, it's modernizing. So. I'll be your tour guide. Yeah. And you'll, you'll be my tour guide on the car. Yeah, perfect. Because I don't know nothing about cars, only just buying. What? what <laughs> just buying and driving? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that what we all do? <laughs> like, seriously. And that's what this channel is about. You don't need to be a car nerd to watch this channel. We totally get you. Most people. People just love the look of cars. They want to see a few cool gadgets. They want to buy it and drive it, right? Yeah. What do you drive? G Class. Oh, nice 2019. car. 2019. Oh, the new one. Yeah, the new one. Dude, Edition one. that is awesome. <laughs> okay, we'll have to up your G Class with this one. Let's see what you think. All right, should we should uh, we give Shaheen to someone else? Are you okay, Shaheen? Did you, did oh, okay, Shaheen. See you. All right. Bye. Catch it. Just chill out, mate. All right. This is it. This is the Vision 2030. I'll be the one, the first one who's going to yeah. see that. This is the first time it's come out of the Riyadh car show. It was just launched yesterday. <laughs> We're in the financial district here in Riyadh, in the capital. Oh, oh my God, the color is amazing. The color is amazing, right? Wow. The main idea behind this car is that it's like a supercar for all terrain so you can drive it off-road look how massive the um, oh, the, the re wheels are yeah, right so okay. they're 22 inch and then look how thick the tires are so this is actually the same kind of tire you would have on your g-wagon oh okay you know <laughs> suv on the bottom supercar on the top oh. these are the tail lights so indicator uh, brake light and reverse light okay We've got the f1 brake light here which is kind of cool peep in through here ibrahim yeah i can see your hand even yeah. right we can shake see. under yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's cool is when you hide the lights under here it casts a shadow and so at night when you're looking at the car from behind all you can see is this kind of really cool red shadowing effect on both of on, like on top of the fenders here Uh -huh. Open sesame. So it has little wings on the roof. That's kind of cool, right? Oh my god. So. It's amazing, guys. Sit in. Yeah, please get in. Here's the deal with the top kind of winglets. Getting into a supercar is never easy you have to seriously like duck and kind of maneuver your way in right yeah. it's sometimes it's like the the duck and roll you know or the jump you just never know really how to get into supercars with this you, it gives you so much height that you don't have to duck yeah. so you can get in easier but for you it's you're so tall for me it's same. And not an issue. No? <laughs> not an issue. <laughs> but it and looks like the back from the future car. Yeah, yeah. exactly. The same. Yeah, you're right. Oh it kind God. of opens the same yeah, way. Yeah, on the sides. And then these ones, if you press this button here, this will actually close it and open it. Ready? Ready. The designer of this car, he actually designed the Gallardo and the MC12, the Maserati MC12. So it's got five, about 540 horsepower, a range of 350 kilometers. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're going so fast. <laughs> I love how you're holding on, she, holding on for she dear life. She started to drift, guys. <laughs> All 
right, a massive, massive thank you to the people of Saudi Arabia. You guys have been so welcoming to me. I really appreciate that. I cannot wait to come back. A massive thank you to His Excellency and also to you guys for watching. You give the video a quick thumbs up and subscribe to the Supercar Blondie family. We've got so many other cool things happening. Yeah, sure. Massive thank you to Ibrahim as well. All right, bye guys, we're bye -bye. out. We're out. Bye. bye. I think the first Arabic word I must, must learn is car. Car. Sayara. Sayara. How do Sayara. I not know this? Sayara. Okay, then that's going to be ingrained in my brain now. Sayara, okay. Yeah, come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. A chauf confi, mo samriyad.